And what I want to do here is show you guys a restaurant website demo. This is an HTML5 site. It's a very nice website. And as you can see, it makes quite an impression when you first look at it. You have a slider that's a full page slider that changes images and you can relay a very nice message right from the get go with this website. So as you scroll down or you can hit this arrow to go to the next section, you have an about us section that talks about your history or whatever you want it to talk about. Any message that you would like to relay to your audience can be relayed through that section. You also have an opening hours section menu, and you can click to view the complete menu, a gallery that shows off the restaurant, the food, anything that you want to show off. You can show off your customers if you'd like. This is all stuff that I can change to make it specific to you. But if you click these right here, you can see that it kind of juggles around. It filters it for you. And if you click on a photo, it expands. And then you just close it right there. So as we scroll on down past this gallery, if your restaurant takes reservations, this can be integrated into the website. This is a booking system. If you don't need a reservation system, this can be, this doesn't even have to be there, but this is an option if you want it. And as you scroll down, you have a testimonial section. Testimonials can always be very useful. It's also another opportunity to build content on the site. And you have your contact section so that those that want to contact you, they may have questions, they can fill out your form. And then you have a map that shows your visitors where you're located. And then here are your social icons so that they can follow you on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, Google+. So now what we're going to do is hit this little button right here and go all the way back up to the top of the page. And this here, when you click a menu item, you'll notice it goes right to the sections on the page. Now that's because this is called a one page design, but it doesn't have to be. There can be internal pages on this website. And if you don't want internal pages, if you like this function, then the way to build content for your website so that search engines really, really, really like it is through the blog. By updating the blog frequently, search engines come back, visit the website, and they index the website. So that is an option there too. A blog is a very, very good thing to have. I can't preach enough how important a blog is to a website. You, you, it can talk about new food offerings or events, just anything, even stuff in the industry is very interesting to people, and it's a great content building solution. And uh, that's something that if you don't have time to do, that's another you know task that can be outsourced. Um, I like to integrate analytics into the websites that I build so that I can see how your site is performing and see if it does need a blog post to give it a little bit of a boost. So I just wanted to uh, go ahead and show you guys this and uh, see what you think. And if you're interested in it, let me know. And I will be more than happy to give you a quote and tell you how I can make a website like this for you. Thanks for watching.